Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube video. In my video today, I'll be telling you about the base 10 method and showing you how to use this method doing addition and subtraction problems. When I show you this method, I'm going to let you know what is base 10, some example of base 10, how we use base 10 using blocks, why the standard algorithm and maybe not the standard algorithm and why we're we using this new method called the base 10. After, I want your participation in doing two problems for me and letting me know which way you prefer, the base 10 or the standard algorithm. Let me get to the definition. Base 10 is assigning place value to numerals and sometimes it can be called the decimal system. The base 10 can be used for solving place value math, additional subtraction, multiplication, division, number sense, and counting. But today, my video will be mostly for elementary kids. But even if you're in high school or college, you are welcome to my video too. Here I have a problem saying 15 plus 15. When I apply the base 10 method to this, my one coming from the 15 will give me 110 because the one is in the one, in the tens place. So one times 10 is 10. Then I have the five in the ones place. So five times one will give me five. Then I have in the 50, I have a five in the tens place. So five times 10 will give me 50. And then I have nothing in the one place, so that's zero. When I bring it all down, I have 10 plus five plus 50 plus zero will give me 65. The way you can do this is saying 50 plus 10 will give you 60 plus 5 is 65. See that? How you like it so far? Now I'm going to do it with the subtraction. The subtraction is deco decomposing the number completely. What I mean is by I have the 220. So I'm going to say the first two is 200. The second two is in the tens place, so you know I'm gonna say two times ten give you the twenty. I have nothing in the z the ones place, so I have zero, and I'm gonna be taking away four, which is in the ones place. So when I bring it all together, I have two hundred plus twenty giving me two twenty. Taking away four will give you two sixteen. This is the way we use it with blocks. We know that each block is. 100, then we have the one with tens, and then we have one block by itself. So I want to find what this answer is. So the way I can say is 100 plus 10 plus 1 will give you 111. This is the method for doing it with subtraction. First, I have to add up everything. So I know everything will give me 111 because I have 110 and one block. Now I want to remove one. The way I do it with the block, I will remove the one. And as you can see, the final answer will give you 110. Now, the reason we really use the base 10 method is, you know, it's, it's an easier method to solve math problems. I'll give you a little more information after this. And then, you know, we got the standard algorithm, which is a longer method for solving math problems. I know a lot of you guys learned this method in school, and I hope after this video, you will see why the base 10 method is teaching more elementary students to use this. Okay? So, I want you guys to solve these two problems for me using the base 10 method and the standard algorithm method and tell me which one you prefer. And then overall, like I said, the reason why I want you guys to teach your students the base 10 method or even teach it to yourself is because solving numbers by tens is more easier. You get to solve large numbers quickly, you know, and it's like having a calculator in your head and it will make you have less use of your calculator. 
So I hope I teach you something. I hope you can teach your friends something, your sister, someone in your family about the base 10 method. And I believe they will enjoy doing math. So thank you.